Hello, this is the Bible in Fewer Words. We are Carol and Steve Wells. This is episode 226, the book of Nahum, chapters 1 through 3. Hi, Steve. Hi, Carol. Well, I'd never heard of Nahum before, so I imagine this is one of the minor prophets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're right in the middle of the minor prophets. I think we have five more to go after this. Okay. And remember the last two, we had Jonah, and Jonah was preaching to Nineveh, remember? Oh, yes. And they all converted. <laughs> Lucky them. <laughs> yeah. And then Micah was next, and he was um, talking about how Nineveh was going to be destroying Israel, the mm-hmm. northern kingdom. Mm-hmm. And now we have Nahum, who comes a little later, and he's going to be saying that Nineveh is going to be destroyed. Uh-huh. That the Assyrian Empire is going to be destroyed. That happens in 612 BCE. So it's about 100 years later yeah. now. There's a debate about whether he's predicting, like prophesying, mm-hmm. and this is prophecy about the destruction of Nineveh, or whether this is history. Yeah. <laughs> and it happened afterwards, and he's claiming that it's prophecy. So Lying we don't really snake. know. We don't know anything about Nahum. Okay. We, we, Though they say that his tomb is, is located in northern Iraq, oh, 40 miles or so away from Mosul, which would be where Nineveh was. Okay. You know your geography a lot better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, that isn't where he was from. I, I don't yeah. think if he even existed at all, he would have been from Judah. Yeah. But there you go. So I get the impression here that God is on a tirade. Oh, Yeah. Oh, definitely. And he kind of was. He's been through all of this, right? Except for... <laughs> Once or twice. There, there was kind of an exception there. Oh. In, um Jonah, in the book of Jonah, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where he said, you know, go preach to them. And Jonah didn't want to do it. And he did. And they all converted. Yes. But they're going to get it now. That's what this book's going to be about. Because, wait a minute, Jonah was Nineveh. He was supposed to go to Nineveh. Is that right? Yeah, and he did. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And... And Jonah ended up being kind of the bad guy there. So yeah. I want you to destroy the want, Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> okay, so chapter one. This is the book of the vision of Nahum, the Elkishite, about Nineveh. God is jealous, furious, and filled with wrath and revenge towards his enemies. He is slow to anger, but won't acquit the wicked. He has his way in whirlwinds, storms and clouds, are the dust of his feet. That is kind of flowery language there, isn't it? Yeah, this is actually a poem. This is oh. this is one long poem. Okay. Kind of one long anti-Nineveh poem. <laughs> he rebukes the sea and rivers, and they dry up. The mountains shake, the hills melt, and the earth, and all that live on it, are burned in his presence. He pours out his fury like fire and throws rocks from above. It's just interesting that God himself is throwing rocks from above. It's it's Uh an interesting picture. Yes. God is a good protector in times of trouble, but he'll destroy with a flood and cover his enemies in darkness. So don't upset him. If you do, he'll wait until you're drunk and burn you to death. Mm Mm-hmm. Chapter 2. Get ready, Nineveh. Make your loins strong. Someone is coming who will smash you to pieces. The heart melts, the knees knock together, and there is much pain in all loins. God says, I'm against you. I'll burn your chariots, and the sword will devour your young lions. I guess those are soldiers. I think so, yeah. Chapter 3. Woe to the bloody city. It is filled with dead bodies. Because of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts. God says... I'm against you. I'll discover your skirts on your face. I kind of remember what that's about. <laughs> I, I think it's kind of kind of <laughs> nasty. I'll show your nakedness to all nations and kingdoms. I'll cast abominable filth upon you and make you vile. Your leaders are women. You'll be destroyed by your enemies. You'll be burned with fire, killed by the sword, and eaten up like a canker worm. Yeah. Okay, so, Steve, I'm trying to get a picture here. God is angry. Uh Uh-huh. Doesn't like women leaders. 
<laughs> I guess. Yeah, that's right. That's an insult. Your your leaders are a bunch of women. Uh huh. I can't wait till all of our leaders are women. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't. <laughs> yeah. Well, God doesn't share your desire. I don't think. At least Nahum you can't really tell whether he's saying this or God's saying this. But it's definitely an insult to say that your leaders, or maybe he's saying your soldiers, are a bunch of women. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to just get a snapshot here of what this was about. This was about Nineveh. Mm -hmm. Capital of the Assyrian Assyrians. Empire. Okay. Empire. Getting destroyed by God because he's upset with them. Right, yeah. For what reason again? Oh, they're bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and they attacked Judah at some point, didn't they? No, they attacked Syria. They attacked Israel and destroyed Israel in 722, the northern kingdom. Okay. And so now God's going to take care of them. All and right. that's what this is about. And we don't know if this dis poem describing history or this poem describing prophecy. Yeah, believers like to say it's prophecy. It's perfect prophecy. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I mean, nobody knows really when it was written. All that anyone can say is that it was, must have been written sometime around the time of the destruction of Nineveh. Yeah. Because it, it's kind of claiming to be a prophecy about that. Yeah. Nahum, the prophet, isn't referenced anywhere else in the Bible. And the book itself and the contents aren't really discussed or mentioned anywhere else. M many of the minor prophets are sort of ignored. Minor. The rest of Scripture. Yeah, many <laughs> they're minor. <laughs> this would certainly be one of the minor prophets. And it's three chapters, but there's, each chapter is short, and they're poetic, and there really isn't much to say about it. So I did my best there. Yes. I like the length. I like the way it sounds. Thanks for doing this. Yeah. We're done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, listeners. You know what the next one is? No. Yeah, you thought Nahum was a little bit... Uh, Obscure. Yeah. <laughs> the next one is Habakkuk. Habakkuk. If a little boy was named Habakkuk <laughs> or Habakkuk in elementary school, that would not go over well. Yeah. I can't wait to see what it's going to be about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, thanks, Steve, and thanks, listeners. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.